if you're in America, is in the morning. So welcome to the prayer mountain this morning. I'd like you to close your eyes or wherever you are. Uh, some people join us while they are driving. Okay, don't close your eyes. You just join us and let's begin to worship God. Begin to give him praise and give him the glory. Give him the honor. Give him the adoration. Hallelujah. Worship him. Worship him. We just thank you, Lord, for bringing us to the prayer mountain. Thank you for your presence on this Nayot Ramah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the, your, your power on the mountain this morning. Lord God, we give you praise. We give you glory. Blessed be your name. I know, I know that you are going to do great and mighty things, even that which we know not you are going to do in our lives, in our families, and in our jobs, in our businesses, in every facet of our lives. You are going to do the unusual this morning. We give you the praise and the glory. We honor you. We honor you. Oh my God, that those salabregedos kamanandia le kubaka shamande keso labragadoske ye zomana katika labregedos tamandia ye kato jamandi kaliando goboski ada ye bragadosi kadia le degebostima la to barandia kat E grada gadoske, e klano ze bragados kabadia, ye banana na ko shabadia, le kubina sula brakatoshe kadida. Begin to worship him and pray in the Holy Ghost. We give you praise, we give you praise, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has begotten us unto a lively, lively hope. We worship you. We have become partakers. We have become partakers. We have become the coin on us of the divine epignosis, of the divine nature, of the theos. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We thank you because you have made us to be part of you. What a mighty God we serve. And your word declares that the art is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The earth is the laws and the fullness thereof. And that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God and of his Christ. My God, we thank you for the privilege to share with you this divine nature that gives us authority to use within the earth jurisdiction, within the spiritual jurisdiction. My God, we thank you. My God, we worship you. Blessed be your name forever in the name of Jesus. All right, this morning, before we enter into the prayer, uh, I just want to share some things with you about uh, some things that happen in the spirit realm. Uh, things that happen in the spirit realm. This is very, very, very important for you to understand it. It happens in the spirit realm. And if we do not understand, so many people wonder why is their prayer not answered? Why are their prayer not answered? Why is it that they continue to, to struggle and things don't work well? Sometimes we engage, we engage the spirit realm when we do not understand spiritual authority and jurisdiction. Let me tell you something straight up, that if you are disobedient to your senior pastor, there is no demon that can answer to you. Now, I say this because especially when that man of God or when that pastor is telling you the right thing, is telling you, so when you rebel, you cannot you cannot overpower a rebel. The greatest of rebel is Satan himself. He rebelled. He's a rebel. Is a rebellious person. So when you rebel, you cannot control. You see, sometimes people who abuse authority or who abuse spiritual jurisdiction, they they may look as if they are shining for a while, but before you know what is happening, they fall like a pack of cats, and you'll be wondering what how come what happened to this person. I'll read the scripture for you. 
I read the scripture for you in the book of Jude. You know, um, Jude is just one verse and is actually a very powerful scripture, very, very, very powerful verse of the one of the one of the epistles. So now if I read from verse nine, if I read verse nine of the book of Jude, he said, yet Michael the archangel, when contending with, dev with the devil, he disputed, Holy Spirit, Oh, yes, Holy Spirit. I'm going to read it again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jude verse 9, yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, does not bring against him a railing accusation. But Micah said, the Lord rebuke thee. The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. What is this scripture saying in verse 9? It said that Michael, the archangel, when he was disputing about the body of Moses now with Satan, could not prevail because, you know, both of them were archangels. They operate in the realm of archangels. And so Michael did not have the spiritual authority to overpower Satan in that jurisdiction because both of them understood that they were occupying the same rank. So what Michael could do at that point in time was to appeal to a higher power, a higher jurisdiction. And so he said, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. And that was why Satan had to go, had to leave, had to obey, because, it, because Michael appealed to a higher jurisdiction. He had authority, the same authority level, with with uh this with satan falling lucifer but he couldn't actually uh enforce that authority within the territory within the jurisdiction i'm going to be using the word jurisdiction and territory at the same time so you see so many years ago let me just bring this home i'll say this and they will pray so many years ago a lady came for deliverance uh, from the part of the country I was born in and I came from. So she came from that part of the country. And then when she, she came for deliverance prayers and she has a lot of spiritual uh, attacks and afflictions in her life. And so and uh, she couldn't get married also because she was being afflicted even spiritually. And so I assigned one of our pastors to pray deliverance and take her through the, the process and prayers and all those stuff. Uh, but but um, the pastor came back to me and said, nothing was happening. So I'm like, come on, cast out the spirit and just take the sister through prayers and everything. But the pastor came that this thing is not working. This person is not really, the thing is, ah, I don't get it. I don't, this demon, this spirit, these things are not even listening to me. This thing is not working. So when he said that, I, I just began to worship and pray to connect to the spirit and the Lord was going on. And the Lord told me that this particular uh, person, this evil spirit is from a different jurisdiction. And you, this particular person I assigned to handle this case will not be able because he himself is operating from a different jurisdiction. He cannot, he cannot because you, see, you cannot overpower a spirit that is from a different jurisdiction when you do not understand the authority within that jurisdiction. So, and then I went and I, I called, I tell her to bring the sister into the office, he came to the office and I was, there the was happening. He said the person, the sister said, no, they said the person I asked to pray with, with her, the person, the person, cannot even, the person 
cannot even do anything. The person cannot even do anything. That is exactly what that, and when she was speaking, I knew that this was an evil spirit sitting in my front talking. This is not ordinary. And then I told the pastor, I told the pastor she said it in my language. So the pastor didn't even hear what she was saying. So I now told the pastor, okay, take her back to the, to the church and then um, we'll pray. We'll do some prayers with her. That devil is a liar. And the sister kept on smiling. This, she was smiling, a mocking smile and this wicked smile. And so I got into the church and I just mentioned one word. I mentioned one word in my language because that was the core root of that her problem. As I mentioned that word and I said, in the name of Jesus, you need to see the reaction, the reaction. I, 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 many people call it manifestation. I don't, to me, it's a reaction. The demons and the forces of darkness that was in her began to react. And she was on the floor screaming because she knew that a, an authority who understood her jurisdiction just arrived. You see, in the book of Daniel chapter 10, the Bible said Daniel prayed. The first day that Daniel prayed, his prayer was answered. The first day he prayed, the prayer was answered. There are some people, let me tell you something. There are some people, you don't, you please don't fight them. Don't fight because they are instrumental to your deliverance in your life. They are instrumental to your freedom. They are instrumental to your breakthrough. They are instrumental to your financial breakthrough that you are looking for. There are some people today, they are, they are spiritual throne. They are spiritual backing. They are spiritual authority that is operational within their jurisdiction is not even happy with them. They continue to rebel, continue to do things. They continue to do things. They are flouting instruction. They don't care because they now know they, they believe they have money, because they believe they have uh, education, because they believe they have this, they have that. So they are flouting. All the, they don't care anymore. Listen, be careful at a time when you think you, you don't care. Be careful of a time that you are not careful. <laughs> because at that point in time, you are just locking yourself out of a spiritual backing that can be able to help you within the jurisdiction that you need. This is very, very important. Some of us, God has given us grace, extra grace. You got what I'm saying? I've given us extra grace. What some people call second chance to amend the errors we made in our first place of worship to amend the errors we make in the first time that he gave us opportunity to engage a man of God. And we just took it anyhow. Now, God has brought you and he has sent another man of God and he's telling you, and I am talking to you now. And God is telling you, look, obey now, listen now, follow now. Don't, don't disobey. Don't go against what I am telling you. Don't abuse this opportunity. This is very important because many people think that even, let me tell you something, even demons know their level. They know their hierarchy. They know their level. They know their hierarchy. That is why, you see, there are some demons that will come to, will go and, there are some situations they will take to some native daughters or some voodoo priests of evil powers. And then by the time you get to that place, you look, they, ah, you say this thing. He will do grand grand, do all those things. But he will tell you that, uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, he will enter into the shamba and talk to the evil spirit in charge of that situation. And the evil spirit will say, if you try it, I will kill you. I want you to see some Christian brothers who believe that they are so anointed, but they, go, they went to burn down a shrine. They carry their dead body out of the shrine. Because they have authority. It's true. They have anointing. They have grace. But they are not... They do not understand that your it is look. Yesterday I said during the Bible study, I said every king is not a king outside his kingdom. No matter how powerful a king is, outside your kingdom, you are no longer a king. You must submit to the principles of that other kingdom. So that is why today I want to address because as a believer in Christ. As a believer in Christ, having, the, having become partakers of the divine nature, there are things you must not permit in your life. 
Are you getting my point now? There are things you must not permit in your life because the devil has gone beyond his jurisdiction. How can the enemy, had Bishop Idaosa said before he died, he said, if the devil knock at your door once, cast him out 10 times because you pay the bills. <laughs> I like that. He said, cast him out 10 times because you pay the bills. You pay the bills. The devil has no power to bring you under to bring you in on that subjection when he has not gotten your permission. So if there is any affliction going on now, it is because of two things. One, you may not have even taken note of it. Two, because you permitted it. And how can you break out of it? You have an authority in Christ, and now you are going to enforce your authority within this jurisdiction. In your jurisdiction is your family. Your jurisdiction is your, is your health. Your jurisdiction is your business. It's your life. You have to, and that is why he said, only the violence take it by force. Not those ones who just say, well, que sera, sera, whatever we be, we be. No, you have to take charge. You have to take charge. By the time we start enforcing, I feel the power of God on me now. The time, by the time we start enforcing spiritual legislation, the spirit of the just man may perfect. Uh -huh. I can still remember a very young boy boy, young boy, young, 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 young. He was so zealous. He was so passionate about the things of God. And then he began, he, 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 immediately he lay hands on somebody and the person fell down that the power. He said, hey, I already have it now. I already have it now. Yes, did he have anointing? Yeah, of course he had, he had the anointing. Did he have it back? Yes, of course. But he did not understand that it, the anointing you have is not for every place. There are some senior situations. So you don't go double into the places where you don't have jurisdiction. You don't go into those places. Some people say, ah, I received revelation from God. I am supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do this now. Oh, this thing. Bible, even Bible says vision is for appointed time. It's for appointed time. It is better you are a local champion and you are in the will of God and you are doing great things for God than to say, oh, God send me to Kafanshan. God send me to, to, to Kotonou. <laughs> God send me to America. God, please, team, it is better to be a local champion than to be a, an international disaster. Katwele, Mali Kadia, Baruka Tenema Kata, Veka Rubia Le Kata, you are anointed for a time, Makodia, you are anointed for a season. Kadi Boroke, Seanama de Kashada. You are anointed to do great signs and wonders, but some of us need to understand that young brother today, he has, he has, he, he began to, to misbehave because he left when he was supposed to be under. He, 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 he just, he just, he just believed that. Meanwhile, the person, the figure that he is looking up to was still serving, was still, still serving till today, humbly, faithfully, still serving. And no wonder, if you see a man who understands spiritual authority and spiritual jurisdiction, uh, he will shine, he will be shining. You will be saying, ah, what is going on? Because every ministry you come under, there is a spiritual throne that is speaking from the kingdom of heaven that is speaking to back up that ministry. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. In the same way, in the same way, in the very same way, when you go and lay hands on somebody that is senior to you in the spirit realm, <laughs> especially when you cross boundary, that is another word we'll call it, you cross boundary. You, <laughs> when you cross boundary, then that evil powers will say, Jesus, I know. Apostle Paul, I know. Who are you? That is when it be, things, things will turn against that person. You must understand spiritual jurisdiction. You must understand. You must understand. You must understand. I told the pastor some time ago, I said, look, if you are not going to be in the church, let me know. 
You know what he said to me? He said, sir, I don't, I don't, I, 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 he was talking. I'm like, hmm. hey. but before you understand what is happening, another pastor came to me and I said, that pastor is backsliding already. He said, ah, ah, apostle, apostle, no. The fact that he said, oh, no, me is backsliding only to begin to see, to hear and see things. And I call him, I say, I told you. I told you that this, look, your, where you, the way you are going, you are no longer listening. You are no longer hearing. So you are leaving covering and now you have become vulnerable and the enemy can attack you. We need to understand spiritual authority and spiritual jurisdiction. This is very important. I'm teaching you something important on the prayer mountain this morning. I could, not, I could just say, let's begin to legislate and do some prayer. But I want you to understand this thing very well. Understand it. Daniel pray. But the priest that was in charge of the territory of the jurisdiction of Pasha made sure his prayer, the answer to that prayer, he allowed the prayer to go. But the answer to that prayer, he made sure that he, doesn't, he didn't get to Daniel. For at least, at least for 21 days. You are not Daniel now. Me, I'm not Daniel. You know, so but at least for 21 days, that prayer was handled. He was hindered. He was kept there in the spirit, in the spiritual border until reinforcement came from the kingdom of light and they, they, they disarm the border. And that was when the answer got to Daniel and he was telling Daniel, Daniel, it's, it's not that God didn't hear your prayer. It's not that answer did not leave heaven, no, but answer did not get to you. In between heaven and earth, there was a jurisdiction that we had to cross the, their border. So they stood against us. They made sure we don't get to you. These are the things we are going to legislate. There are things that have been released for you. I'm telling you, your health, your miracle, your testimony, your breakthrough, financial breakthrough, many healings and many miracles, many testimonies that have been released, but they are hanging in between the borders of the spirit realm. And they can't get down because there need to be reinforcement. You need to legislate a katu makatia, a ragada. Now close your eyes. It is time to pray. It is, it is time to legislate. We don't have much time, but we are going to legislate it. By the time we are done with the prayer mountain this morning, I want you to continue to legislate. You are in order now to legislate because you have knowledge. If you came from that family, no powers from that family must keep you down. You have the authority to set to, to, to break that yoke. Uh -huh. if, you, if you married into that family, uh -huh. so you have a legal backing to decree a thing in that family and it shall come to pass. Even though there is a strong man within that family, even though there is a strong woman within that family, you can decree a thing and it will come to pass by virtue of your marital connection into that family. It is legal. It is legal. The first prayer you are going to pray in the name of Jesus, every of your goods that is hanging in the realm of the spirit, I you para let them be delivered to you. I take it. I decree now. Let there be a spiritual supernatural reinforcement. I take it. Take it. Take it. Boa boa mama boa dada. Let kwede belia katu sakata. Every afflictions, every of your goodies hanging. Let them be released to you. And then every affliction that is buffeting your life, that is keeping you. Eh kwatete parana. I destroy the affliction. I command their oppression to stop. I command their power to end. I command their reign to end. I command their power to break. I destroy their authority and I bring down their jurisdiction. I intercept and I interrupt their oppression. In the name of Jesus, I legislate your freedom. I enforce your freedom. I enforce your breakthrough. I enforce your breakthrough. I enforce your breakthrough. I am 
enforce get married. I enforce you are getting married. I enforce it. I legislate it and I enforce it. I legislate it and I enforce it. I legislate that your ministry is coming out. I legislate it and I enforce it. I legislate that you are rising. You in your marriage, you will build that house. Oh my God. Oh my God. I see a demon sitting on the land. I see a demon sitting on the land. Sitting on a project that this project will not continue because this project is happening within its territory. I decree under the ocean of heaven, let there be a supernatural reinforcement. I legislate and I enforce you will finish that project. I legislate and I enforce you will finish the project. I see somebody here, your business is suffering, is suffering, really suffering. You are not getting the return the way you are supposed to get the return. It's not coming. You are not seeing the return. You are wondering what is going on. The Lord said, I should tell you, you are not obeying your pastor enough. You are not, you are not obeying your okay, 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 dada, zuane le koba da kata, that the position, the office, the assignment that you are giving, you are not handling it well. You are taking it with levity, and yet you are expecting God to handle your business. He said your business will continue to suffer as long as you allow your kingdom assignment to suffer. Oh my God, that is what I heard, and that is what I'm telling you. In the name that is above every other name, powers that are making you to be carried away by material things so that you will fail in your spiritual responsibility. I pray now, let those powers be destroyed. The discouragement, you see, devil is very, is very deceptive. He came, he will come so that you, 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 you have a temporary oh business break the hey, A, it will make you so carried away with business that you no longer face your spiritual church assignment. Not knowing that your breakthrough success in your business is coming because you are faithful to the kingdom work. It will, it will confuse you to think that, oh, it is the business that is even making you to support the work of God. It will not tell you that it is the work of God that you are committed to that is actually blessing your business. Ah, nah, 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 nah. It is a deception from the pit of hell. Can I pray for you now? Somebody is here. There is something that is tied in your neck. You tie something, tie something in your neck spiritually. Anywhere you go, you go with that thing. It has become your emblem and your identity. Oh my God. Even the good that is supposed to come to you, as long as somebody sees you, you don't see the thing, but the thing is tied in your neck. If they see that thing, help is gone. If they see that thing, favor is gone. If they see that even the babies that are supposed to come to you, they don't come. If they see that even the good that is supposed to come, they don't come. I see three people like that. It's tied on your neck. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I cause this calabash tied on your neck to scatter by fire. Uh -huh. I command this 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 calabash tied on your neck to scatter to pieces by fire in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus aha uh -huh. Aha, 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 aha. Daniel, Daniel, hear me. I know you are anointed, Daniel. Daniel, hear. I know you are blessed. I know you are grace. But Daniel, the day you prayed, answer came. Daniel, 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 the day you prayed, answer came. But you were within a territory. You were within a jurisdiction. And you didn't know that you need to deal with the power, with the authority within the jurisdiction before you can dominate the jurisdiction. There are power. Many people don't know that when you land in an area, there are power. Immediately I landed in Canada, I knew there are peculiar jurisdictions. I have entered into a different terrain. Immediately I landed in Winnipeg. Uh -huh. I said, this is a different terrain. Immediately I landed, I, my plane entered into the spiritual territory of Manitoba. I knew. Even 
even the devil knew that somebody entered the territory. Can I pray for you now? The powers in the jurisdiction of where you were born, the powers in the jurisdiction where you now live, the power within the jurisdiction where you now do business, the power within the jurisdiction where your office is located and cited. Can I do prayer now? In the Kwade Kadwade Katamaka, on this prayer mountain today, Ezwagada, Ezwagada, Kene, Kene, Kene de Kata, Eluade Kede Kata. I dethrone every throne within that jurisdiction, every illegal arena, every illegal marauders, every powers of the operations of the air and of the land. Eswaka, Swakataka, anybody that must reign in this world. And you must fight two powers. You must fight two jurisdictions. It is called the powers of the air and the powers of the land. These are the two things that control within a territory. Can I pray? In the name that is above every name, I break you free from the limitations of the air and from the oppressions of the land. In the name of Jesus, Kwade, eh? Kwade, eh? Uh -huh. Is Zakata, Zakata, Zakata. I see arrows. I see international and national arrows are mustering together. They said this man has started, he has opened up some deep things now, and they are angry in the name that is above every name. Before they gather, I command them scattered. They shall not have time to gather anymore. In Barua Bekata, I legislate that no more shall they convey, no more shall they gather. In the name of Jesus, I decree them scatter. I decree Decree the project completed. I decree your marriage successful. Any power that pulls that man. Listen, listen. There are spiritual things happening. Hey, hey, hey. You call it psychological, you call it emotional. But there are spiritual things that make to bear, that brings to bear, that, 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 that overpowers man itself. I pray now in the name that is above every name. Every power pulling the man away. Every power pulling the ministry backward, every power pulling the business backward, every power pulling the, the, the job backward, every power pulling you backward, every power that, that have said that within this jurisdiction of where you are, you cannot marry. Now, I say no, 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 no. Devil, you are a liar. I say no, no, no. In the name of Jesus, every agreement and consensus in the realm of the spirit is cut out. Ateke, teke, te kata, ezuma, the art is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. Ate kata, because I have become a partaker of the divine nature, I am enforcing atobe ketesia, the freedom of this man, the freedom of this woman, the freedom of this boy, the freedom of this girl. Now it is done. Ikeleke, let it manifest now. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. So shall it be. You will start seeing testimony, you start hearing testimony. Things will begin to happen in your life. Be very observant. Be very observant. Don't stop Pray, even as I round up the prayer mountain, you can continue to legislate. Ekete, if I were you, I will speak in tongues more. I will speak in tongues to legislate these things in the realm of the spirit, to, to solidify and consolidate the new arrival of your life, to your inheritance, to your freedom, to your dominion. Never again shall the enemy bring you under. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Blessed, blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Oh my God, I give you praise. I give you glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 Begin to worship him. Mando kosobi aladakata. Reketo zeketeli adagada. Imbrege dege doko tameka siada badayada. I leave you under the mighty hand of the almighty God. I secure your life. I protect you with the blood of Jesus. You are secured. You are secure. You will not die young.
every every emblem of death everything that want to make you a widower and a widow every power that want to make you fatherless and motherless i just saw it i saw i stop the onslaught of death the messenger of death i push you backward you shall not come now so shall it be so shall it be blessed be your name forever 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 and ever glory glory to you jesus in jesus precious name we pray amen hallelujah see you have a wonderful service tomorrow wherever you are joining us from and if you are in winnipeg you are in manitoba you can join us you can join us on youtube uh mhic life center where life is given or order of our branches all over the world you can join us look for missions wherever you are or look for a bible believing church connect connect god is doing something this end time you will not be left out you are blessed in jesus name amen god bless you